Call of Duty Mobile and the Backbone 1, this controller right here. Why do I prefer playing Call of Duty Mobile on my mobile device over PC and console? Well, let's talk about it. Someone that has played a lot of Call of Duty over the years, starting off with Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, back in the old Infinity Ward days before Activision came in and took over the studio, um, for the longest time, for many, many years, Call of Duty was a, a staple. It was always something that I looked forward to every year. One of the games that um, kind of um, moved me into... Um, playing more and more video games, uh, and that expanded into other genres, action RPGs, RPGs, MMOs, um, action-adventure games, third-person shooters, which is actually, to be fair, I started with third-person shooters first with SOCOM, and then moved over into uh, Call of Duty with Modern Warfare. But over the years, um, Modern Warfare has always been the benchmark for me. It is still, and I, I want to start off with this so you understand kind of my feelings about, you know, the FPS genre and first-person shooters. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original, is still the best FPS of all time, in my opinion. It stands the test of time. It is just a pure um, gun-v-gun type of scenario where, yes, there are some perks, but the kill streaks were limited, it didn't get all crazy like we saw in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. It was really about skill versus skill. So to me, that is the game that stands the test of time. Over the years, I've played many other versions of Call of Duty, whether that's Black Ops 2, um, going all the way up to, was it World War, World War 2? Or, I think that's what it was. Um, more, It was one of the more recent Call of Duties, and that's kind of where I just said enough is enough. It's kind of the same thing, repetitive, um, not really seeing any change. Um, a lot of exploits in the game um, that we were seeing or I was seeing with whether it was kill streaks or other things that, again, it really just didn't come down to, in my opinion, skill. Gun versus gun. That's kind of what I've always you know, gone off of, and speci especially with SOCOM, with it being a tactical shooter. It really, really was based off of that. You really had to be you know, on top of your game. But going out of that, <clears throat> for a long time, just again, was not really interested in playing Call of Duty. Um, most of that was because of how long the rounds were. And, you know, a standard Call of Duty game, you know, you'd be looking at anywhere between 15, sometimes on the long end, depending on the game mode that you're playing, up to 20 minutes. So that would be kind of a Eh, I'm not really in the mood for that. And then on top of that, you start adding in the frustration and some of the other elements of what is the console or PC version of Call of Duty uh, with, again, some of the kill streaks and the exploits. It kind of kind of makes you want to walk away from it. I'm, I'm not the only person that feels this way. There's several other you know friends of mine that has played Call of Duty over the years, and that's kind of what's happened with them. They walked away from it for those same reasons. Fast forward to, I don't even know how many years ago Call of Duty Mobile came out, so please forgive me, I'm not as up to speed on the game and you know the progression of the, all the updates they've done with it. But when it first came out, it wasn't fully polished yet. It still had some some bugs. It wasn't as fluid. The, you know Some of the frame rates were kind of not the best at the time uh, with some of the things that I remember at least. Um, and I just decided you know over the past, I don't know, two weeks to re-download the game and say, you know what, X Defiant's not out, which is really the game I'm looking forward to. Speaking of Infinity Ward, Mark Rubin used to be over there with Robert Bowling. Uh, so many of the, the, the guys over at the original Infinity Ward that really were about community and wanting to get the community's input and how Call of Duty has just gone completely away from that in, in the modern times. 
We'll see if Microsoft can turn that around since they've acquired um, Activision and Blizzard. But, you know, I figured I'd download the game. Um, X Defiant's not out. I really want to play that game when it comes out. It's the game I'm most looking forward to uh, coming up. And I said, you know what, let me, let me just give it a shot. The worst that happens is I jump in, it's terrible, and I didn't really waste any time because I knew that the rounds were a little bit, a little bit shorter. I have been pleasantly surprised at how much fun I've been having playing Call of Duty Mobile. Um, and part of it is about this, which I just talked about in a video, um, about you know what I do over my decision of either the Logitech G Cloud over the Backbone One. And I said the Backbone One is, it's hands down, it's 100%, I would choose it. If I had to do it all over again, it would be my choice, just because of the versatility of, of the device. But... That's not the main reason why I like Call of Duty Mobile. The controller makes it more of an experience that I enjoy, but that's really not what it is. It's 5v5, and guess what? The rounds are short. You can get through a game in under, you know, 10 minutes. 7 to 8 minutes usually a round. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Super Animal Royale in that respect, that they're quick games. You're, you're in, you're out. Um, you can jump back in if you want. Um, the kill streaks while they're there, it's not, I don't think it's, it completely takes away from the gameplay, just the way that it's been set up in there. Um, th that's just my view of it, at least at this point, after having played, I don't know, geez, we're probably up to anywhere between, you know, 10, maybe 11 hours at this point since I've re-downloaded the game. Um, the gunplay is really, really good so far of what I have played. And I've been playing a lot of ranked on there, uh, which is where you kind of have, again, that jump in a skill level and it's been competitive and it gives me kind of that competitive, you know, um, th that competitive element that makes me want to come back, but the rounds are short enough where I'm not getting frustrated like I normally would with the PC or the console version. Um, and that's kind of a breath of fresh air for once. I don't think I would have, this is kind of two situations where I'm saying this is a first for me that I, I never thought I would say I would take this device, the Backbone One, over the Logitech G Cloud because I never really wanted a mobile device controller. I wanted a dedicated handheld. And in the, the case of Call of Duty, I didn't think I would want to come back to the game, but this version of the game makes me actually want to play. Um, and it's easy to pick up. You can play it at night. It's on your phone. You're not having to boot up the console or the PC. Um, granted, could I do, you know, um, um, you know, a remote play with, with Xbox? Sure. I, I could, if I wanted to play Call of Duty, but that's, I don't want to play those longer rounds and have the type of frustration that I usually get from a normal Call of Duty title. So again, I've been pleasantly surprised, um, this is something that I'm going to also highly consider now is Warzone Mobile is getting ready to come out. Um, rumor is, or the rumors have been online that I've been seeing is maybe sometime around April in the springtime. My device is on the lower end. I have a, a Pixel 4a 5G, so it's probably barely just going to be able to run it. Might even be 30 or 40 frames per second, which is not ideal. My plan is to get a newer phone towards the end of the year, probably the Pixel 8 Pro, which should be able to run it um, at a much better, a better rate. I don't know if it'll be a true 60, but, um, you know, even at that point, um, it'll, it'll have at least some better performance is what I'm, what I'm getting at. So that's got me kind of interested about playing that, that game when it releases as well. And I've never really been a mobile gamer. This is just me being authentic and honest with y'all. I've never really truly been into mobile games other than maybe, some Facebook games back in the day. Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the one was. Was it Mafia Wars was one of them? I think was the name of one of the games. Um, I, I just, I I really wasn't into that type of stuff. I really preferred console and PC. The place that where mobile gaming is right now has really shifted my opinion on some things. Um, and, and, I, and I already knew that mobile gaming was there. We've heard some folks, and I, I do not agree with this opinion, but it's a it's a thing that you hear all the time from folks that want to kind of look down on mobile gaming and not treat it as though it is gaming. It's gaming. It's just a different version of gaming that maybe you don't like or you prefer. Just like some folks prefer PC, some folks prefer console, 
Some folks prefer mobile gaming, right? They're all forms of video games. But while I knew that mobile gaming was making some, some, you know, some leaps, this has really impressed me what I've seen so far on here of the quality and just the amount of updates that they've done with this game and how smooth it runs on my phone. Um, it's making me rethink some things. Um, I'm not going to share all of that here. That might be something for a live stream of kind of what I'm been, what I'm thinking. I don't want to jump too far ahead of making any like decisions of like, I'm going to just go solely mobile gaming. That's, that's not going to be the case. I'm still going to use my PC. I'm still going to use the console, but might I vary some things? Might I add some more mobile games in that? I don't know. And again, this is kind of making me think about some things as it relates to that. Um, and also about what my, my next phone purchase might be, because while I'd prefer to be in the Pixel family and do a Pixel 8 Pro, maybe I go towards a Samsung S23 Ultra because I know that it's got a Snapdragon and a better GPU. I, I don't know. These are things that I'm going to have to think about as we go into the, the, the new, you know, through the new year now and going towards uh, the back half of the year, which is kind of when I was expecting to pick up a new phone, maybe like around October, November, December, because... New phones will be coming out from Google. The previous year's phones will start coming down in price. That's usually how I always do my purchases. I don't always buy the newest, newest phone. I buy the previous year's phone because there's usually a discount. So I'm going to have to see how this all plays out. But that's my take. Does this controller make the experience even better? 100% it does. I, I probably would not enjoy playing Call of Duty Mobile with just touch controls. But is the way that the game is set up as far as those smaller rounds, 5v5, it not feeling like the kill streaks are overdone, like, is that really the main reason that I'm, I'm continuing to play 100% and even more? So this controller, it's part of it, but the gameplay experience is really what's, what's making me enjoy the game and want to come back and play it off and on, so... Those are my thoughts on it. What do you think? You know, are you a fan of Call of Duty Mobile? Have you tried it out? Are you someone that regularly plays it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, and if there's a phone that you're looking at potentially for Warzone Mobile, let me know what you're looking at. Let me look, you know, let me know what type of phone that maybe you have right now. Is it an iPhone? Is it a Samsung? Is it a Google Pixel? Is it uh, a OnePlus? Um, you've got the Asus ROG uh, phones that are out there. And you've also got... Uh, I think is it is it Red Magic is another one that's another another phone that's out there that's a pretty high end phone. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below of what device you might be playing Warzone Mobile on or even Call of Duty Mobile, um, you know, going forward. So with that, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next video or live stream. I'll talk to you soon, everybody.